repurpose the Shenango Valley Mall. Uh, if that succeeds, it, uh, that building in all likelihood won't be there. 100 new jobs coming to Lordstown. What's next for the Shenango Valley Mall? And how two valley businessmen are planning to clean up blighted properties in Columbiana County. This is the Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Two Mahoning Valley businessmen who recently flipped two offices Republican in Columbiana County say they're ready to tackle the blight problem. Brian Blakeman and Vito Abruzzino were elected Columbiana County Treasurer and Prosecutor last week, becoming the first Republicans elected to the positions in six decades. Blakeman says his first priority will be working with Abruzzino to identify and clean up tax delinquent properties in East Liverpool and the southern portion of the county. My intention isn't even to worry about collecting the money, it's to uh, at least get the property back into someone else's hands that will do something with it. The courtroom overnight in January will have a completely different look, and I think for the first time, uh, in probably all of recent history, you're going to have office holders um, that not only get along, but want to work together. In Ohio, when property taxes are overdue, the treasurer must notify the prosecutor for the foreclosure to begin. Blakeman says more than 1,700 property owners in East Liverpool owe a combined $1.5 million in property taxes. Right now, a lot of what they've got is uh, abandoned homes. There's like 40 houses down there right now that are burned to the ground that are still on the tax rolls, making it look like they're generating revenue and there, there's no one living there. You can read more in the story on our website. 100 new jobs could soon be coming to Lordstown as a Tennessee-based company looks to set up operations in the former Magna Seating plant. M&M Industries hopes to convert the plant and add to it for an injection molding operation. M&M makes plastic pails and other packaging. On Monday, the Lordstown Board of Education voted to approve a 75% 15-year property tax abatement for the project, but the abatement still needs the approval of the Trumbull Career and Technical Center. M&M says it will employ 106 over five years and hopes to break ground on the project early next summer. With Ohio recording more than 4,000 new coronavirus cases daily for nearly a week, medical professionals are warning that the latest surge could overwhelm the system if steps aren't taken to slow the spread. During Governor Mike DeWine's press briefing Monday, we heard from several physicians who reminded the public of the importance of wearing masks and social distancing. However, unlike when the virus initially hit, the physicians aren't calling for shutdown measures. The main reason, they say, is that the spread they're seeing is now happening in the home, at family gatherings, weddings, and parties. Bruce Vanderhoff, chief medical officer of the Ohio Department of Health, says also unlike the initial surge, the challenge now isn't a lack of PPE and equipment, but a lack of trained personnel who can't keep up with the growing demand. Our nurses, physicians, pharmacists, other health care providers live in our communities and they can't escape the impact of rising COVID-19 numbers in their communities. When they have to quarantine, they can't be at the bedside. We need your help with masking, distancing, and hand hygiene. Masks work. You can hear the full press conference and read more in the story on our website. The future of the city of Hermitage was on display Monday as the first of several new infrastructure projects was unveiled. Started in March, this $3.8 million roundabout on State Street is part of the Hermitage Town Center study, which looks to upgrade the infrastructure and aesthetic of the city. Funding for the project came from the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. Bill Motor is president of the Hermitage Board of Commissioners. In addition to the roundabout, which is the focus, of course, uh, we have the sidewalks, uh, increased lighting, drainage improvements, and it's a significant uh, investment in the community. Another project that's on tap is the repurposing of the Shenango Valley Mall. Motor says the structure could be torn down and replaced by individual businesses. He says construction on the project will begin next year and be complete in 2022. It could be a very exciting project with uh, more of a modern shopping experience where uh, you don't have to go into a giant building and walk through uh, hallways and that to get to businesses, you can get to businesses in kind of sections uh, and so uh, that the project hopefully will proceed. You can hear more in the 3 Minutes with video at businessjournaldaily.com. 
And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, the links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. The future of the city of Hermitage was on display Monday as the first of several new infrastructure projects was unveiled. <laughs>